Hey there and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting and happy video today. I'm feeling great. I had the day off and I decided to go to Marshalls and do some shopping and some shopping around uh, the few stores that are still open or that have just opened recently and I have a perfume to share with you and then some makeup and beauty and hair goodies as well. I've shown kind of a couple things like this that don't have to do with makeup but have to do with beauty in general on my channel before and I think I want to get a little more into it. If you guys are interested, obviously, I have a huge interest in makeup, I have a really big makeup collection and hair and beauty, so if you're interested, leave it in the comments if you'd like to see some more things uh, that have to do with beauty in general and I will start to do monthly favorites, I think, and include them in my favorites as well. Of course, fragrance is going to be the main thing I talk about, but if you guys are interested, I'd love to branch out as well. So. Let's get into it and we'll start with fragrance for my fellow fragrance lovers, of course. And I was happy actually because most of the fragrances I was finding in Marshalls and Winners, and Winners is our TJ Maxx by the way in, the, in Canada, but I know you guys have TJ Maxx. They were ones I'd seen before. It was a lot of light blue uh, by Dolce & Gabbana, a lot of just, I don't know, repeats from previous days. They hadn't had a lot of new ones come in honestly. And then a lot of like Marc Jacobs, Daisy, and Daisy Dream, and I'm not a Marc Jacobs person in general, but I do own a couple of his perfumes. I'm definitely not a Daisy person. I just own Daisy Dream because I won it in a raffle. So anyways, there weren't any really, really standouts for me, except for I noticed that they had a new one, which I hadn't seen before. And this is Aqua. Divina and it's the Eau de Toilette, the 40 ml by Bulgari and this was I think like $29.99 or something like that and I've had pretty good luck with Bulgari fragrances honestly. I, um, in my you know fragrance collection series and my fragrance em empties series, both of which are already done on my channel, I've shown you guys a bunch of them that I have. They're really good like safe um, fragrances for the office so I really enjoyed them and this is one that I've never owned I've never smelled total blind by the notes in this one are were pretty interesting when I looked them up they had salty sea bergamot salt crystals red ginger magnolia quince or quincy uh, it's a fruit I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that beeswax precious woods and amber and the beeswax and salt really interest me in particular uh, salt is a note that I find interesting and actually pretty good in the fragrances that I've had and then Beeswax I thought was interesting and a lot of people had pretty good things to say about it on Fragrantica so I thought I would check it out and I'd never smelled it before total blind buy We'll try it together on this like little on the box itself and on my skin and then I can come back with like a, a second impressions like I do with um, like I've started to do on my channel if you guys are interested. So this is what the bottle looks like, sorry. This is what the bottle looks like. It's like a circular bottle. The only bad things, the bad thing about bottles like this is that you have to lay them flat. You can't stand them up. So they do end up taking more space and I do have limited slash no more space for fragrances in my collection. So I'll see where I can fit this in. But yeah, it's an interesting bottle. And let's see how it smells. Oh wow. Okay, and I'll spray it on my skin as well because I'm only trying one fragrance here today. So immediately you definitely get that salty air slash salt crystals scent. I'm trying to see if there's a difference between the strip and my skin. And there is. On my skin I'm getting more notes that on the strip so I'll just continue to smell off of this I do get some like I assume it's the red ginger because I do get a little bit of like a gingery type smell and that salt is so strong this is probably one of my most salty perfumes it smells like salty air being by the sea. It doesn't smell aquatic in that way, but it does smell like very, very salty air and ginger. And then 
I can get like a soft amber smell. It does say that the amber is like in the base of the fragrance, so I'm assuming I'll get that a little bit more uh, as I, you know, as I wear it and as it wears off on the skin, because as I say, this is a total blind buy first impressions. I do like it, it's very interesting. It's an extremely salty fragrance, so if you don't like salt in your fragrances, you will not like this. This is probably my most salty fragrance that I've owned. And the ginger really shows up in this, which those were the two notes that I was really interested in. And the beeswax, I'm really trying to get what that would smell like because it doesn't, it didn't list honey and stuff um, in the notes or pollen or anything. It just had beeswax. So I'm having a hard time picking it out. Maybe it's because I'm not, my nose is not really familiar with that particular smell separate from honey and sweet smells. This is not a sweet fragrance at all. It's it's definitely not sweet. It's not floral. It's got, yeah, I don't really get any of that magnolia in this at all. So to me, it just smells like salt, like salty air, amber, ginger, and maybe some, it says precious wood, so I'm not exactly sure what kind of precious woods that would be, but maybe like a slightly woody, extremely salty fragrance with some ginger. So yeah, I will definitely continue to wear this. I'm really excited about it just because I don't have anything in my collection that smells like this. And at this point with as many fragrances that I have, that's really what I look for. So yeah, I will continue to play with this and let you guys know what I think in a second impressions if you're interested in having one um, in maybe like a week or so. So yeah, that is Aqua Divine by Bulgari. And then some more goodies. So I picked up some makeup and hair goodies. The first one I picked up um, is actually a makeup brush and this is by Real Techniques. I love Real Techniques brushes. They're by YouTubers Sam and Nick. And I don't really watch their videos, but I do own a lot of their brushes. So many of my brushes are the Sam and Nick brushes um, by Real Techniques. I think they're great. They're great value for money. And this is a line I hadn't seen by them before. It's kind of, it's called the ultra plush quality. So I have, I think, brushes from almost all of their lines at this point. And I own way too many makeup brushes already, but this one, it was a line I hadn't seen before and I got the foundation brush of this. It is very, very soft. I will say a lot of their brushes are soft anyways. It's a synthetic brush and it's a foundation brush that they say works for liquid and powder foundation. So I obviously haven't used it yet, but I will use it. And as I mentioned before in the intro, if you are interested in makeup or other beauty hair videos or like favorites, then let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'm really happy with this. This was not, uh, it, the price isn't listed here. I think it was like $7.99 or $8.99. It wasn't that expensive and I was really happy to pick it up. Then along that same line, I use makeup sponges and honestly, I use them from a bunch of brands and my favorite are the Quo ones from, that are sold here in Canada and Shoppers. But I noticed that Equate, which is like the Walmart in-house brand, had come out with these flat brushes or uh, flat sponges that Quo sells for like two for seven dollars, I think. And they had these for even cheaper at Walmart. So I picked these up. Walmart was right next to uh, the the Marshalls that I was at, and I picked these up. There are two of them. I'll definitely use them. I like to use these. I wet them and then use them for foundation and thicker liquid foundations in general and yeah I was happy to pick up two more this was really cheap I think like three dollars for two and I will use them and wet them and see if I like them as much as I like the quo ones because the quo ones honestly are equal if not better than the beauty blender ones in my opinion and I've owned a beauty blender and I prefer the quo ones in my personal opinion and then Another interesting makeup find, I found the Fruit Cocktail, Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in the shade Berries and Bubbly. And this is, I think, the only one I was missing because throughout the past couple months slash year, there's been so many from this like fruit cocktail, fruit collection from Too Faced show up at Marshalls and Winners. 
and I picked up all the rest. So I definitely got, um, I had Cherry Bomb, which this is what it looks like. And then I've got Pineapple Sun, and this is what that looks like. And then I had Apricot in the Act, which I love, and this is what that one looks like. And then I had the Plum A Granite Blush Duo, and that's what that one looks like. And then I had also picked up the two, uh, the, what is it, the eyeshadow palettes? Yeah, so this is the Razzle Dazzle Berry eyeshadow palette. And then I had the, what is it, the pineapple, the sparkling pineapple eyeshadow palette. And these are ones I picked up over the past year, but I've never seen this particular one, the Blush Duo Berries and Bubbly. So we'll open it together. And this was $9.99, so Really, really inexpensive. It says here that it was originally $20. Not exactly sure about that. I never picked them up at Sephora when they were there. And this is really nice. So this is a nice highlighter and a blush. I'll do some swatches here. And yeah, I really like the, I don't think you guys will be able to see this, but I'm not even sure if you guys are interested in makeup videos, but these are really beautiful. It's like a very dusty pink, rosy blush and then a soft pink highlighter and I'm happy to just add that to my collection because I've actually really enjoyed these Too Faced fruit collection products. And then the last makeup product before we move on to hair was the Hangover 3-in-1 Peach Extract Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray and this I've looked at for ages. I tried it in Sephora for so long didn't pick it up, and then for a very long time it was in Winners and, T and TJ Maxx or Marshalls for so long in Canada for about like still $25, which I think it's originally like 30 or so, $32, so it wasn't that inexpensive, honestly. But now it went down to $16.99 and I decided to pick it up. I was so excited about it. This is the Hangover 3-in-1, but it's the Peach Extract one. So. This is, and I'll just spray to see. Oh, I just love the smell of this. I adore peach scent. I adore it in fragrance. I adore it in makeup products. And Too Faced has a bunch of peach scented products, which I love. So this is a primer and setting spray. I obviously haven't used it to be able to review it, but now I'm so happy to have a full size and I will put it to use. And if you guys are interested in makeup videos, then I will let you know what I think. And then finally, two hair products. The first one I picked up was a shampoo, and this is the Moisture Recovery Moisturizing Shampoo for thick, coarse, and dry hair, of which I have all three. I have thick, definitely dry, definitely coarse hair, especially uh, the parts that are color treated. And this was $8.99 down from about 16. Yeah, so this is a really soft, like, salon smelling shampoo. I've had pretty good luck with Joico uh, shampoos in, in the past and yeah I'm excited to try this out and see how I feel and again I'll come back to you guys if you're interested in reviews. And then finally uh, I love Frederick Fakai, Frederick Fakai hair products and this is one I'd never tried or seen before. This is the Miraculous One Repair Spray. And this was $14.99 down from $29. And this is a spray to kind of use before you blow dry or heat. Yeah, or use heat on your skin. And it's supposed to help with repairing and damaged hair. So I'm really excited to use this. I will probably use this today or tomorrow. And again, as always, let me know if you're interested in hair and makeup products as well. And I can kind of include them from time to time. On my channel so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye